looking out on what would have been the battlefield during the Trojan War. We're looking out at the Hellespont. You can see a ship coming in out there. Or the Dardanelles. It is so windy. I hope some of this comes out. Um, and I'll tell it again very quickly. Um, Paris was the prince of Troy. We'll go in the background where he came from and all that. He went to Sparta, kind of like on a diplomatic mission, to the home of Menelaus, the king. And Menelaus was married to the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen. And Menelaus, being an idiot, went away on business and uh, left Paris and Helen alone. They mixed it up and moved back to Troy together. So Sparta and Greece said, hey, we need to go to war over that, i.e. the Trojan War, which lasted 10 years. Uh, what they were really fighting for was trade rights. They just use the, the rest of it as an excuse. Ooh, the detail on that, huh? And the Troy was actually open area um, before 1980s. Um, many local people came here, they got lots of marble pieces. You know, when you go into the small villages, you will see lots of marble pieces from Troy on their gardens or on their buildings. What do you call it? Like the recycling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Schliemann was the self proclaimed archaeologist who found this, Schliemann. He uh, had made lots of money in the California gold rush, used his money. He started reading Homer and Greek history and declared himself an archaeologist. Came over here with and bulldozed, grabbed all the loot, smuggled it out of the country, and the rest is history. So most everything's been looted. And he gave a lot of the stuff to the Berlin Museum. But then after uh, World War II, when the Russians moved into Berlin, Berlin, they then pilfered the stuff from the Berlin Museum, and stole that, and it went back to uh, Russia. So pretty much the same thing with Egypt. Here, anything of value has long ago been looted. And then here we can see the mud bricks from Troy Two. Um, like these are the reconstruction. Uh, 2500 BC, actually, the uh, Troy II was with mud bricks, you know. Um, and Troy II actually destroyed by the fire, and the mud bricks became like this. These are the original ones. How come, like, the mud bricks became like this soil? You know, the Troy II was uh, destroyed by the fire. There was a wooden pl platform on top of this mud bricks uh, for the soldiers to walk on, actually. and. Uh, the stone foundation on this side is the original one. They use the same color, actually, uh, the red color, you know, for the mud bricks. And this section protected with this roof, with, with this roof, actually, and shows the level of the hill. Uh, there was a hill like this before the ar archaeological excavation. Um, and this roof, like a ship sail. Uh, the archaeologists uh, trying to show the importance of the wind. They say the wind brought wealth to Troy. How come, like the sailors on that time, did not know how to sail from the Dardanelles against the strong current? And they had to wait at the harbor of the Troy and they supply their gods from the Trojans. So that's why uh, the wind brought wealth to Troy. So you're looking at stuff that's 5,000 years old. These are the original foundation stones belonging to the fortification wall and towers of Troj 
Troy 2 and 3 circa 2500 BC. So that's 4500 years ago. Still here.